and welcome to the second episode of the Arctic Experience, our all new franchise zoo in which we are going to build Arctic Experience animals in this wonderful layout as you can see over here. Today we're going to fill in that space in the front. I've already done some stuff so um, more about that in a second but first of all let's do a quick recap of uh, the first episode in which we built this one for King Penguin habitat in the center here. Um, even I tend to always look at that one but you know there's still some more about it uh, on this side and this is um, we've got a lot of space as you can see they're all wandering over here. Um, I'm I'm a little bit confused to why they only use that one instead of swimming over so I basically have to change the bridge a little bit I guess at some point um, or give them some more reason to go in the back here so maybe even give them uh, this thing I think they can't even go outside of the water so let's not do that um, we can actually check real quick how the transfer Traversable area is no actually they can't get up here uh, so I might change this in the future uh, because you know at this point this is basically not really accessible for them at all um, so we could we could now we, we could also just leave it for the moment um, because you know there's like a whole viewing experience over here but no one is actually using it uh, so yeah I better make sure that they go there at some point but as we get a lot more of these penguins in the meantime um, it's you know it's quite likely that at some point it's gonna work now the second more important thing is as you can tell from the money down here we are doing very well with our zoo I have put certain things down here in order to make some money we've got one little um, you know one little terra pin in here I had no idea what animal I could use because we basically do not have any arctic animals as exhibit animals but um, I did cover up the shops over here quite nicely um, I did a couple of you know refreshing here and there it's not fully done yet but as you can see I did some blueprints over here of some you know uh, landscaping things that we can use across the zoo and I've already prepared this area as you can see the pathway has changed a little bit I still want to maintain this uh, you know kind of loop as I said at some point I might change the loop maybe this is going to be our first change with the loop but uh, you know um, this one is going to be and there's no reason for me to you know uh, forget about this or like not talk about this because you've seen that from the thumbnail this is going to be the macaque and uh, red crown crane area as they go very well together in one habitat I'm going to make this happen with some cool little um, hot springs for them to chill in and just make sure that this habitat is looking kind of cool um, we're going to have a little bit of a different uh, approach this time it's gonna be like a little tunnel on which they can traverse over um, and have some climbing frames and stuff like that uh, they can all enter the habitat of these animals so I don't even need to make sure that um, they can escape in the center it's fine we just need to make sure that we have some boundaries uh, for the guests to roam on have already someone oh my god yeah they, they dropped some rubbish down here anyhow it's time for a little time lapse and I guess um, yeah we're doing just some some work in this area and uh, then we'll be back with the rest of the episode I'm not quite certain where we are going to put the shops and stuff I think this time around I might put the shops somewhere more over here but I'm not entirely sure maybe we're gonna leave it with this for the moment and again uh, put down a pathway for the moment being and then just later on get rid of it as soon as we have like a restaurant area here but um, you know for the moment they can buy their stuff here it's actually you know in terms of the guest needs it's quite okay you know hunger is kind of a little thing thirst is a little thing as you can see always the same um, so maybe I'm going to give them more shops here quite nicely and then they can have something oh you know what while we're doing while we're at this we can also just go in here and say uh, drink stalls and then let's give them some vending machines basically in yeah a couple of other spots let's let's put one here so that they don't cramp themselves in there too much and another one can go here and the same goes with food so let's put like a hot dog machine next to that one and a vending machine for pizza pan a pizza pan pizza pan can we just have one hello there goes one but i want to actually kind of put it somewhere here here Oh, it's just gonna be next to the toilets. Um, yeah, well, let's put it here. Okay, well, and then we do need a mechanic. Do we have a mechanic already? Not sure if we do have a mechanic. Uh, yeah, we've got Orville Operson. However, this time I'm gonna do something else. Um, I'm gonna have this dude over here. Why? Where is he running? 
Okay, he's just standing around here. Now, first of all, employment, uh, less of that. And you are going to do repair habitat wall. Nope. Re rate breakdowns. Nope. Re this is right. Right in. Nope. Conduct mechanic research. Nope. Vending machine inspections. Okay, so this is the stuff they do. Um, and you're going to do this in the whole area of this. And I'm going to edit this real quick because these three are not in there. Oh my god. Okay, well, what's that? I want to have these in as well. Nice. And yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, this shop is not integrated. I should definitely do so. Right. I've done that. This is all good. Um, we might actually have one or two more vendors in here. I think this is kind of nice to have as well because we've got two little vendors. Um, so I'm just going to put this one down. King penguins. It's quite nice, I guess, to have like a very, you know, structured zone like that because this will always make sure that everything goes fine. So at this point, I'm going to pause the game because the weather is turning overcast and I want to have a good lighting uh, to build all of that because I think this will look very, very decent once we are done. Um, I'm going to do this quite interestingly. I guess we... Yeah, I've, I've got a good idea how to go on with this. So let's do that. All right, welcome to the speed build part. In today's speed build, we are going to make the macaque and uh, red crown crane habitat, most of it at least. Uh, we are going to do a couple of adjustments in the real time part, but I want to use that time to talk about one very specific topic I haven't really addressed in the past. And this is the quality of the build in a franchise mode. Now. Obviously, for those of you who also watch my other series, especially Zoo Sicily, um, know that usually my builds tend to have quite a lot of detail. Now, the franchise is a little bit of a different story. It um, looks good, but it's a different approach to the game. And I think it's a totally valid approach to the game. If you are someone who loves to play with a lot of animals in their zoo and a lot of different habitats, I think a franchise uh, series is very well because um, it doesn't require as many objects as I usually use in my speed builds. Um, however, on the other side, I still want to maintain a certain level of quality in the builds. You could say that this is the perfect combination of a looking good, a good looking habitat and a very efficient habitat, um, because that's what we need. We also need to focus a little bit on the money in franchise mode, obviously, at least at the beginning, but also in terms of the time for a habitat build, um, especially for franchise, I want to reduce it to a little bit less than uh, what I do for my normal series. Just as a little idea, a video like this is um, basically, well, I think two to three hours of work when it comes to the footage and about half an hour for cutting and recording. Now, if you add that together, it's like three and a half hours doing a thumbnail, blah, blah, blah. You are up to four hours per, per one video, um, which is usually about 30 minutes long. A time-lapse video for Zoo Sicily, which is about 20 minutes long, so it's a good 30% less time as an upload takes me up to 12 to 15 hours or even more. It requires a lot more research. I am digging for some architectural types. I want to fill in um, a whole lot of more planning goes in because the whole zoo should be very coherent and tells a story. And, you know, um, it also requires a lot more research in terms of plants and being very accurate to the plants rather than just using those that the games tell me, um, creating my own plants, obviously, plant variants and so on, um, and making sure Sure that the build is a lot more intricate, focusing on backstage, focusing on guest buildings, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot more involved in a uh, video for Zoo Sicily, um, and thankfully most of these series are performing better than franchise. Which, um, if you go in with like you know input output, that makes sense. But sometimes it's the other way around. For example, if I remember back to Tiny Zoo, this has been an insanely um, good series on my channel and in comparison to back then Yosemite Valley videos that was just almost ridiculous but I just want to give you a little bit of a context to why my franchise mode builds are maybe not as super detailed I don't want to say great because great and you know the appreciation for buildings is very subjective you know it's not an objective kind of scale you have so I hope you guys enjoy really the difference between franchise and uh, time lapse because obviously I couldn't just do time lapses I just don't have that much time but I still try to find a very good um, you know 
uh, mixture in between. Really hoping that you guys love it. But yeah, in terms of the habitat, we are going to have a little bit more of a good look in the real-time part, but I wanted to create like a very open, spacious habitat for both species that they can roam around, and we have this kind of little center plaza uh, in which the guest can actually interact with the animals because um, it's kind of good. Both animals can interact with guests. They are not shy. They are actually confident. So uh, that's quite handy because that means we can have people go through the habitat, which is good for education and the overall happiness of people and just makes sense. But that's it from me. Um, I hand you over to the real time Rudy again. So enjoy that one there and welcome back uh, to the real time part. Now, this was an exciting uh, time lapse, wasn't it? I am very happy with the outcome of it and um, before I talk a little bit more there are going to be two very exciting announcements at the end of the video so stick with me till the very end it's going to be very good trust me um, I'm not going to exaggerate over here so please stick with me but first of all um, we're going to manage a couple of things over here so first things first we need to make another um, hub for the people to get to and this is going to be locationed uh, somewhere here so I'm going to actually put certain things down. Don't worry also by the way uh, because it's already pretty late in the day. I'm going to pause the game real quick so we have a bit of daylight left. Um, or you know what, we can actually speed the game up and get some more money. Um, so we've got, oh we've got no keeper here. Yeah, we might actually not speed up the game and just do that first because otherwise we get into some trouble. Now okay, first of all we're going to put some facilities down. Um, the usual stuff, you know. Uh, gonna put a... I'm going to put a large staff room over here because that one is going to be accessible for more. So I'm just going to put this one um, here. That should be fine. We're going to put like a small keeper hut here. And we are going to put... What else would we need? Um, quarantine is not something I'm going to put here. Staff room. I think this is about right. Um, what we got to do is as well have a wind turbine that covers this area in energy is that the right direction yes and i assume we will need a water treatment plant uh which i guess i'm going to put here that should be about right yes okay so this is our little hub we put down is it floating oh it's floating ah oh, we can fix that um i'm gonna put down uh the this is that that's the level okay let's keep z hold down there you go the Z key, Z key, whatever key, you know, that's that. And now let's put the path that, what the heck is, is going on here? Um, I'm gonna just select the whole thing, I guess, and move it up and down again. I just wanna make sure that this is the right height. So this should be about right. And now put down the path. Hopefully it's gonna, yeah, there you go. Um, just making sure everything works there you go awesome so the reason why i'm putting this here is just to make sure that the the staff members uh have a nice way of accessing everything um by the way what the hell are you doing okay that's fine just like smooth that out um and then we're gonna connect this pathway over here as well gonna get a little corner in here that's nice and what i'm also going to do is another pathway connecting through here gosh i desperately want a new texture for the staff path like i honestly why can this not be like a normal path just like give the info it's ah oh, i just want to have this like concrete or whatever all right so we've put that down um anyways next is putting down the staff member a keeper is required over here and we also put a caretaker into this area and we also want to have a mechanic in this area Awesome, let's hit play. And we also will need uh, two more vendors in this area, one and two. Okay, so let's just let them blob down. Okay, before I put, oh God, it's a little bit dark over here, but that doesn't matter. Shouldn't keep us away from uh, doing good stuff. Okay, we cre create a new work zone, which has this roster over here and the shops down in this area. So this is the entire new roster and we call this Makak and cranes there you go this is all done awesome so this mechanic can actually do everything why not um that's all good everything is set okay perfect now we also need to put down a couple more uh trash bins as you can tell people are very much throwing trash away everywhere oh it's about to snow which is really good for this habitat not gonna lie this is really good for this habitat specifically um Who's going to inbreed? Nope. 
nope 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 alice don't don't do that don't just do that alice alice stop it okay well there you go uh we solved that issue now you can see a lot of guys out there awesome high amount of many things ticket prices uh, are underpriced well that's that's an info i gladly take uh 13 to 11. look at that awesome now everyone is freezing um except the animals which is good um okay is this still a thing still underpriced no it's gone okay well that's fine it's getting brighter by the time. Oh, it's starting to rain as well. I just want to keep a little bit of the... Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, no, it's about to rain. No, <laughs> and it's all washing away. Oh, dang it. But there is like a cooler in this area. Okay, well, th this snow is going to stay. Um, I was about to help the... the... King Penguin has died. Okay, well, see you later, alligator. Um, okay, Chloe has died. Um, we need to put down some enrichment items. I totally didn't do that quite yet. So, see, they are very much annoyed by not having these. Um, red crown... My god, I can't type. Uh, crane. Actually, I can't type because uh, all, the, all the building work in my new house is uh, really my hands feel... Like, I don't know, uh, they are like very scratchy and uh, I, just, I just really don't like it. Okay, let's put that mirror mobile down here. It's really not that much we have for those animals. They just really don't seem to have a lot to play with. Do we need to research that or what's the, what's the deal? I hate this thing, by the way. It's so big and it's ugly and yeah, well, whatever. Let's put a pipe. Uh, pipe is not really an enrichment, is it? Uh, the forage pool, that one is a good one. That one, <laughs> I love the fact that with free build, you can basically put that down everywhere, anywhere. Uh, what happens if I put it down here? That's kind of good. That's kind of good. I, I like it here. I like it here. So there's a bit of uh, grass. We need to just keep that a little bit lower. There you go. Just a little bit in there. Awesome. Um, I'm going to put a rock or two here. Uh, is there anything else we can give them? Jetty bedding platform. I'm not sure if they would use it, but let's just plop it to the side here. There you go. So they have it. It's fine. And then let's also go in and say macaque. There you go. We can have like a little box somewhere in here. Let's pull that box down here so that I'm more happy with this. I think the natural trunk is something we can also put in as like a little climbing element. Um, let's plop it down here. So that's a nice little spot. Um, and we do also need, where are the, there you go, the water tap thingy. Um, I love this one so, so much. Oh, also uh, because of free build, I should definitely disable the free build real quick. So there you go. I'm just gonna put this very much here and here. And then we gotta have the big one. Uh, it's going to be here. And the other one should really go What's the deal? Okay, there you go. Uh, there, awesome. We can have this small fixed feeder thingy it can go here. And then also give them the keyboard enrichment. This can go, yeah, let's have a little bit of keyboard play down here. And we already have the mirror module. This thing is also pretty neat. I'm gonna put this here, awesome. What they don't have yet is a shelter. Um, which I gotta have to give them, but this is something we are going to do in the next episode because I have no idea where exactly to put this to be honest <laughs> um, I might do this here in the back But um, this should go very much in line with the building style over here So maybe I'm just going to enlarge this to make like a shelter. You know what? You know what? No, we're gonna make our life a little bit more easy We're going to put the construction down here gonna use the arctic walls um, Let's just quickly put it down like so uh, I'm, I'm going to make this look a lot better, but this is going to be just like the, the shelter for the animals real quick. There you go. Let's just do it that way. And I'm going to give them like two archways to get in. Awesome. And yeah, roof-wise, we should definitely focus on something that works in here. <sighs> really not sure. Like the corrugated is also pretty good for this project, but I'm not sure if I want to use it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use it first here. Not sure if I'm going to keep it. Really not sure. But uh, I think for the moment being, it's a, it's a good solution just to have that corrugated uh, style. Again, I, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. But I think it's looking fairly decent the way it is. And so we can keep it. 
um, having just a little shelter for them is also very much required at this point. So why not use the corrugator? There you go. And just plop it all in. And then we have got the flat one, a flat gray one. Can I? Yeah, there you go. No, what's that? All right, so let's put them all in. Can I recolor them? Are they? No, these are not flexicolor, right? Okay, so that's fine. This is the shelter. All we need to do now is bring this um, barrier. We can just also drag that barrier all the way here to the back. And then let's put a pole in the middle. And we're gonna drag it all the way out here. Awesome. Another perfect element of, uh, like not surprise, but a very good element for this whole thing is that um, the Arctic wall pieces are not climbable, which is uh, weird, but a very useful thing to have because um, sometimes it's very annoying to build with uh, various wooden pieces in the game because, you know, they are pretty much always climbable and that makes things a little bit problematic. Okay, let's quickly go to Habitat and put some bedding in. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. All right, now let's hit play. And you know what? I'm just going to quickly wait until we have a bit of more sunny time so you can have a final nice look at it. And then I'm going to have my two little announcements as mentioned before. So stick with me. Uh, Escape Animal Harrison? What the, what the heck is? Who's Harrison? Who is even Harrison? Wait, okay, before I make the cut, let me just quickly check where Harrison is. Harrison? Can I? I can't. Okay, well, I thought that was Harrison, but... Uh, uh, okay, Harper, 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 Harrison, there's Harrison, where's Harrison? Is Harrison actually escaped? No, he's not. He's not game. What's, what's going on? There is no animal escaping opportunity at all. Why did I get the fine? Wait a sec. I'm just going to check it like this. Is there any animal escaped? Not that I see. All right, I'm gonna quickly fix that and get the weather right and then I'll be back with you. There are some protesters over here. Go away. What the hell is... Who are you? Sienna, are you stuck here, mate? Oh boy. Invalid destination, okay. Is that really a thing, like, seriously? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, fix it. And weather is also good. We don't didn't even need a cut. Awesome. How? Wait, no. This is not right. Why do I get all the fines when they're not escaped? They are not escaped at all. Let's check where Ina is. I'm, I'm totally sure that Ina isn't escaped. Uh, Ina, 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 Ina. Where are you, Ina? Uh, Alice, Oscar, Harper, Daniel, Luca, Tomo... Ina, there you go. Where's Ina? Oh, Ina is escaped. Well then, just go back, I guess. Um, how the hell did she get there? Let me just check if I did an oopsie and they can actually get some. Oh, I did an oopsie. How did I? How the? Oh, nosies. Okay, 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 okay. This is because of the, oh my God. I. Elephant grass really doesn't work anymore that much. Really not sure why. Okay, well, this fixed it, but yeah. Okay, maybe I have to redo that again later, but oh uh, gosh. Okay, so we are done here. Um, I will actually, look, oh, gosh, I love the area. I love the little hot tops here with the animals and uh, just so beautiful, isn't it? I really do actually like this area how it turned out at the end of the day um some like really cool stuff let's quickly get a bit of view of it look at that this is this is beautiful i really do like it i really do like it a lot like with the little hot tops here the animal chilling in having a good time and they can actually you know go into the habitat itself looking really really good okay but it is time for our little announcement. So I'm just going to put myself in this wonderful position over here. So the first one being rather simple, um, but it's, I think, pretty good for you guys. So I decided, uh, you know, upon many, many people who requested that for many, many times, I will put all my old 
discontinued projects, including the franchise modes, in a download link that is going to be able uh, to be downloaded for my members of the channel. So it's going to be pinned on my YouTube community wall. Um, the link is going to be there. And also, if you guys want to download all of these projects, um, you have to become a member, obviously. It's enough for one month. If you want to support for one month, it's only 99 cents. So just kind of judge it as 99 cents for all my recent projects you can download them um, they will eventually make their way to the steam workshop at some day but i can't tell when and what you know um, so i thought it's just like a very fair thing to do if you want to on have an ongoing support for me obviously i'm not going to deny that um, and i'm not going to say no but um, you don't need to it's like one month is totally fine um, in order to get to download those yeah, that's the first one. I really hope you guys like it because many, many people ask for that. And I really hope this is a kind of nice little way um, yeah, to give you guys a bit of a thank you uh, for the ongoing support. And the other thing is I decided to do a um, Q&A for the wonderful beloved Yosemite Valley. As you know, Yosemite Valley was my big project before Zuzisili. I know many people joined the channel due to Zuzisili, but Yosemite Valley is where everything started. So um, I'm going to do a huge Q&A. You can ask everything about the project and uh, I'm going to do a wonderful Q&A actually from Yosemite Valley. So um, put all your questions you have down here in the comments and I'm also going to put a little community note down uh, on YouTube the coming days and then next week we are going to have the Q&A session with Yosemite Valley. If you guys enjoy that, please let me know by clicking the like button or if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. As you know, that's the easiest way to support me. It's totally for free and you make me happy and the algorithm as well. So it's a win-win for everyone. Not that I need to say that too often, but here you go. And also hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see more of my stuff, top right is always a good card for you. And now enjoy your time, enjoy your weekend. Talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.